This is uh, Spirits of Easy No Tone by Dead Hoof off the Runners 4. Um, first section. <laughs> Um, so it starts out with this sort of stretch chord. So it's your pinky finger, fifth fret on the A string, middle finger, third fret on the D string. Skip the G, keep that muted, and then uh, bar the top two strings in the first fret. So you get. Uh, then you just play two, uh, sorry, three and four on the high E. And then you go up to uh, this chord. Um, so that's 12th fret on the D string, 10th fret on the G, then 9th fret on the B. And then you just uh, sort of arpeggiate it down. Then you put your pinky out to get to the 13th fret on the B. Then 14, 12 on the B, you pull that off, then you play 13 on the G, that bits, um, and then you do this little bit, which is, uh, what's that, 8 on the G and 7 on the B, and you keep the 8 held down and you just uh, play 8 on, 8 on the G, 9 on the B. Then you just play them all individually and finish on uh, seventh fret on the high E. And then which is fifth on the G, seventh on the B, and you play them and then every now and then you just do uh, you bar that those top three and get the five on the high E. That's the whole first section. So it's you go to the sort of happier sounding bit. Repeats a whole bunch, which is good. So it's uh, 16, 12, 14, all on the high E. And you sort of sit on that one. Then you go 15, 14, 17 on the B. Uh, cool. So those, uh, those bits. Uh, cool, yeah, so just the last little bit before you get into like the arpeggiated chord sort of verse section. Um, so you go, da, da, da. then there's just a little chromatic sort of um, little run down, which is just uh, 11 on the D and 13 on the G. And just move that down a fret, so you get 10 and 12. And then the last chord. Uh, last little bit is just nine uh, on the D, and then you buy that first finger, so you get nine on the B, and you just play ten on the B with your middle finger. So, and then you're into the sort of, yeah, the verse section. Um, I can't pick this as quick as he can. Um, so just the chords, um, you can sort of hybrid pick it. If you want, um, just to get a bit more speed for me at least, because I'm slow. Um, so the chords, uh, open, low E, seven, so you get the octave, seven on the A, which is E note. And then you just flatten your third finger down to get nine on the D, uh, G and B strings. And you also want to flatten your first finger to get that note, which is the seventh fret on the 
uh, play. And then second chord, which is open A, um, get the octave again, so seven on the D string. Then you want nine on the G string, pinky out to 10 on the B, and you wanna flatten that third finger to get the ninth fret on the high E. Uh, this one's a bit of a stretch. Um, I kind of flatten this finger and put the pinky down as well. Uh, so in the 11th fret, uh, sort of flatten your third finger on the D and G strings. And if you can, you can just do that, but I put my pinky down, so 11th fret on the B and seventh fret on the high E. Then you've just got a little major chord shape for the last, uh, for the fourth chord, which is just nine on the D, eight on the G, and then top two, uh, seventh fret on the B and E. Then just the same first chord. Which is 12 on the D, 14 on the G, 15 on the B, uh, 14 on the high E, and just that note again. And you just want to like do that uh, up again, so 14, sorry, 12, 14, 14, back to 11 um, on the D, and then which is just an octave down, so ninth fret on the low E. Um, what happens after that? Yeah, then it just repeats. Um, so just that chord section again, all the same. And then it goes up to the... tuned up sorry uh, just let you know this is um, sort of a quarter step up tuned um, so the E is slightly sharp and they're all relative so it's still like standard tuning but everything's just a little sharp um, yeah so this next section um, so you sort of slide in on the G string um, so the 16th fret and you just want the octave fifth and then back to uh, your root note so you slide in um, up to so 16 then 19 on the high E 19 on the B and then that 16th on the G string again and you repeat that three times then you do which is all on the high E. So 17, 14, 17, 16, 14. Um, you do that, I think, three times, and then the third time, instead of playing, you go back to gets repeated several times and then there's sort of a little little break from guitar but there is like a bass note that's something like that um, and then yeah you do the same this thing except up another two frets Play that three times fully through and then it goes to that sort of bridgey bit which is this largely the same as the intro that 
bit, um, except for this bit. Same first chord. Um, and then you go. Um, so when you get to this chord, instead of doing that, you go. So you're just holding down the 12 and 10 um, on the D and G. And just those little melody notes, 12, 13 on the G. And then 13 on the G and B. Um, just plays that little uh, chord two times. Then just goes back to the start. And it's pretty much the same as the intro this bit. Uh, um, so that's that section, minus the mistakes. Um, and then, yeah, just the last section, um, which is sort of power chords. Um, predominantly, um, but you can play that, yeah, that chord that we play in the sort of second or third section, first one, so same first two chords actually, that uh, 7, 9, 10, 9 on, from the D string. And then we play this sort of open um, sounding F sharp chord. So it's uh, on the low E string, second fret, then on the A string, fourth fret, fourth fret also on the D string, third fret on the G string, and then you have the top two open. Um, and just slide it over to the seventh fret. So you get seven, nine, nine, uh, eight and have the top two open again. Uh, and then it goes, it's just like an E power chord, so 799 on the A, D, G. Slide that down too, so you get 577, A, D, G. Um, and that's just power chords again uh, on A, so on the low E, 5th fret, 7th fret on the A, 7th fret on the D string. And sort of similar to that first E chord you play, you want to flatten out your 3rd finger for this last chord. So it'll be uh, 4 on the A string, and then you flatten out over the 4th fret uh, your 3rd finger. Um, on the D, G, and B strings. And that just repeats again, and then that's pretty much the bulk of the song. So that last section. And it repeats again. Um, so yeah, I think that's most of the the main parts, um, there's a few bits that double the melody, um, the, the vocal melody, um, which you can just sort of like pluck out. Um, but besides that, that's most of the uh, parts for, yeah, this tune, which was really fun. Yeah. Hope you like it. <laughs>